The tutorial you're about to see is a part of a 5 star rated Udemy course, Arduino Zero to Hero. It also comes with its own specialized Arduino kit by DF Robot. Check it out, both links in the description. Hello and welcome! In this tutorial we are going to use this microphone module to detect a clap and turn on an LED. And we're going to play around seeing if we can maybe make it a double clap and so on, you know, getting a little bit more creative. And to do this, we're going to use this gravity shield that you see right now and the DF Robot um, sound sensor module. I don't know why they call it sound sensor, not microphone. It's a microphone. But it works really well. You're going to see the standard um, Arduino microphones that you get off of eBay have like a resolution of maybe plus minus four five on that analog port this is plus minus hundreds and it is virtually self calibrated so um all we need to do really is wire up an led and plug this guy in i'm just gonna plug in into oh should i zoom in i should so i'm gonna plug this into a zero as you can see the um colors of the cable they match. Blue goes into blue, red into red, black into black. The microphone, I don't know, I can just put it... I don't want to cause a short circuit anywhere, so I'm just going to put the microphone out there. I'm going to go around and just have the microphone stand right there. Um, I now need one LED which should be straightforward enough. Um, here's a cable. These are separated at that's that. That should be eight. Um, that can go into resistor. And that could go there. So the first goal we're going to have is just to print out a microphone reading. So we're going to start by, I suppose, declaring a microphone, creating a variable for a reading, and go on from there. So let me get you back into the code. Believe it or not, that this switch has made me have to redo multiple tutorials. So we're going to have an int for reading, and then that's going to initialize to zero. We're going to have an int for mic, and that's going to be a five. Um, and we can have an int for an LED. And I think we put that one into pin eight. So we can set the mic to input. We can set the MODE LED as output. Serial.begin is going to allow us to read the signal. Begin 9600. Okay, so here we are in the loop. And we can now set reading equals to analog read microphone. Great. Serial.print maybe ln reading. That was quick. Don't worry if you're not as fast, you will get there. Eventually, like, you know, once you get used to typing in all the brackets and the semicolons, Things go quick. Okay, zoom in on it. As you can see, some numbers went up. And I can talk from here, and it's being detected. So, now we got to make sure that um, we can turn on an LED with a clap. See, clap goes into the hundreds. So, I suppose we can just say if reading now we are in arduino sign in we're not in python we need to get brackets in reading 
is bigger than 100. If it's bigger than 100, then digital right LED high. And I think this if is going to have to go into brackets because I'm going to have to put on a delay. Keep it on for two seconds and then digital right low after the if statement. So this should just test whether, you know, the LED works, the clapping works. Then we're going to do a Boolean to have the state of the LED change permanently. Okay. Yay. And let's see if I can get there by shouting. Turn on. I didn't have to shout. It's pretty good. I can do it quietly. Nothing happens, but on. On. And hitting the table, man, that works too. Okay, so we're gonna need a Boolean. Boolean, do I, I probably can get away with just saying bool, but Boolean, I'm gonna call it LED on, LED on, and we're gonna call that true. True should turn blue or orange or something like that. Um, there's also, we can also use one and zero. And I guess I'm going to use one because true didn't change colors. So now I can just have like two states. Instead of the if, I can just say, Um, if LED reading is greater than 100, then I can say LED on equals to, I think it's like an exclamation mark equals like that. It means, or we can do it like that, equals to exclamation LED on. That makes true into false and false into true. It changes the state. So I can now say while LED on is one, while it's one, I can basically digital write the comma high. And you don't like me. Okay, try this again. So this way, clapping should like turn on the lights permanently. All right. I should have had a delay of 100. And uh, I should serial print LED on. Hopefully, I'll be either getting a one or a zero the whole time. Okay. While LED on equals to one, it's gonna stay high. But when LED on e doesn't equal to one, should turn low. So something about this, um, let's just at least make sure that the LED on idea works. So if I'm gonna upload this, I'm going to upload this and then at least see if the light comes off. So it's on by default should be and then and it's not printing it all the time which means we are inside this loop so 
it's an interesting situation and an opportunity to troubleshoot a little bit so that if end statement ends there the while statement ends there and um, we are not doing the reading inside the while statement so when the while statement is entered no readings are done and that is it's not that the microphone didn't change but it's that no readings were done in there and I think right now um, I believe that that statement was correct so that's why nothing was happening and this should work. Ah. I believe it's not just the reading, but after the reading and that's the end of the while loop. So right now, the LED on can change inside the while loop. Perfect. So all I need to do now is in this switch of the LED on, I need a little bit of a delay. Delay maybe half a second. So works a hundred percent of the time okay I think we're about 11 minutes nearly 12 and I suspect that I'm gonna have to use um, nested if statements and maybe get rid of the booleans if we're gonna succeed in that double clap switch so I'm gonna leave that to the next tutorial so I'll see you then bye bye If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the like button, totally good karma, and do subscribe. A lot more like this coming in 2018. Again, check out the links in the description and the playlist right here on your screen right now.